Yeah, a little more. Yeah, let's try that. Okay. Yeah, it should be pretty good there. Okay. Hello, everybody. I'm Sammy Cox, and welcome to a beautiful November morning in Squamish, BC. We are live streaming from Squamish Barbell for the first event of 2021, the GOAT, the unsanctioned powerlifting meet. We are going to be starting with the women shortly. If you're unfamiliar with powerlifting meets, it is comprised of three lifts. You have your back squat, your bench press, and your deadlift. I will be trying to keep you up to date with some information as we go, but get ready for some amazing lifts. Today, the judge. Your first lifter today is M. This is her first meet. She is lifting 50 kilos, which is just over 110 pounds. Lift, lift, there we go. Good. Congratulations, Em. Now, if you're unfamiliar with this cool implement in front of us, this is the mono lift. It is not often used in raw PL meets, but since this is unsanctioned, we are bringing it in. It is a very awesome implement to use as you don't really need to step back. Right. You'll see as we go along how it works. Now the next lifter up is Chelsea. Right, next lifter is Chelsea. Chelsea's Bar first lift is 62.5 kilos. That is 137 pounds. Well, just over. Come on, 
Let's go, Chelsea. Good depth. Good depth. Yeah. That a girl. Three white lights. That's a good lift for Chelsea Sullivan. Next up, we have Rachel Mervish. This is her first squat of the day. She will be opening at 67.5 kilos, which is just over 148 pounds. Rachel up and Veronica's in the hole. Bars loaded. Look at that depth at a girl, Rachel. And it's three white lights. That's a good lift for Rachel Mervish. Up next is Leanne. Now, this is Leanne's first powerlifting meet. A lot of these lifters today will be their first powerlifting meet, so there will be nerves. As someone who has competed a couple times on the powerlifting side, this first squat definitely gets those legs shaking a little bit, but once you're done, you feel confident. Leanne is going to be opening at 70 kilos, which is roughly, well, actually, it's just over 100 and, no, no, let me do that again. Sorry. 154 pounds. Now look at that depth. That was good. Stand it straight. Good lift. Add a girl, Leanne. That was great. Now, next up. All right. Up next is Veronica. As you may have heard, Veronica is up next. She is starting off 85 kilos. Ooh, that's a good opener. It's 187 pounds. This is also Veronica's first meet. You will see she has a very snazzy belt. As mentioned, this is Veronica's first meet. And we're happy to have a lot of these new lifters out here. Had a girl. Drive it up. And it is a good lift. Good job, Veronica. As you'll notice, there are no singlets today. As it is unsanctioned, we've allowed the lifter to not wear a singlet and if you have worn a singlet you know that sometimes that is not the most comfortable thing to wear now up next is renee this is also renee's first meet on the powerlifting side she is opening at 85 kilos which once again is just over 187 pounds Now, all these lifters are from Squamish Barbell, whether they're on the CrossFit side, the powerlifting side, etc. Now, you want to stay tight, come into the hole, add a girl. Good job, R Renee. Now, that is three white lights. That is a good lift. Now, as you'll notice, on the mono lift, you don't need to step back because those arms actually move back. Now, if you're new to that, it sometimes is a little bit of a shocker, but it does allow you to save energy and not stepping back. You'll, you'll see a lot of the bigger lifters down in the U.S. Um, using it quite often. It is, it's pretty cool. This actually was made by Squamish Barbell members. Now, up next is Kathy. 
Kathy's starting at 100 kilos. And since I'm not good at this, I am plugging it into my phone. And that's just over 220 pounds. Kathy is a seasoned powerlifter and has many meets under her belt. Oh, oh, let's start that again. As you can see, as mentioned before, that um, mono lift does take a little bit to get used to. Now, also, if it is too high, it does kind of clip you so it can throw you off. So you need to, as an athlete, something like that happens. You do need to kind of settle in and regroup. Kathy is seasoned, so she is pretty good at this. Let's go, Kathy. Let's go, Kathy. And a girl, drive it up. And that is a good lift. Three white lights. Now, there's something about our connection. So if you are having trouble connect, seeing this, uh, send me a note, and I will try and see what is going on. Okay, up next is Rachel Hicks. Now, she is a powerhouse. She comes over from the CrossFit side. She will be opening at 117.5 kilos, which is over 250 pounds. Look at that depth. Add a girl, Rachel. That is three white lights. That is a good lift. Now, if you're just joining us, once again, I am Sammy Cox, and I will be your announcer. You can ask questions. I will try and answer them. I don't make any promises right now. I'm a little too many copies in. Anyways, up next is one of an old favorite, but newer to the powerlifting side. This is actually her first meet. She is known for competing on the CrossFit side. This is Jade Quilty. She is going to be opening at 125 kilos, which is over 275 pounds. Okay, bar is loaded, Jade, and she is up. Now that looks good. Wait for the add a girl. That is three white lights. That is a good lift for Jade Quilty. Now you'll maybe notice that there's a difference in this bar. If you are newer to the power lifting meet, that is actually a power lifting bar. It is different from Olympic lifting bar, bar or what we call a cross fit bar. So there is different uh well, let's just think about this a little bit. There is the knurling is a little bit different. Um, and it actually will be another, well, a different bar for the deadlift. I'll try and keep you up on this fact and get you used to this, but, uh, we are coming into our second round of lifters. All right, we'll so M is up for her second squat. Now M is, this is her first lift or sorry, her first meet. And as you remember, this is a little bit of a nervous day. So, you know, send some love to these lifters. So now M is going to be, her second lift is going to be 52.5 kilos, which is 115 pounds. Chelsea, you're on deck, followed by Rachel M. Now the key to this is to utilize that knurling in your back. There we go. You want to get depth, drive it up. 
And that, that is a three white lights for a good lift for M. Now, the key to the depth is you need to get your hip crease below your knee bend, the top of your knee. So, you know, a lot of these lifters, Jesse, who is one of the owners and the head coach at Squamish Barbell, and if you may recognize him from his uh, coaching with Justin Medeiros, who is the, well, he is the strongest man. Or no, sorry, let me start the world's fittest man in the CrossFit world. So he is very particular about the movement. Now, Chelsea's up for her second lift, and it is 67.5 kilos. That is just, well, that's over 148 pounds. Once again, this is Chelsea's first meet. So let's share some love for her as well. Now look, you'll see, you'll notice her hip crease is supposed to drop as she did below. Oh, so there's, no, no, there's two red lights and one white so that is actually not a good lip now from what i'm getting from the hand signals from our judge nori she didn't meet depth now she will still have a third lift and now she can still go up if she feels confident or stay at the same weight next up is rachel mervish with her second lift or her second sorry her second squat and it is 72.5 kilos, which is just, well, it's 159.8 pounds. Once again, we are streaming live from Squamish Barbell in beautiful Squamish, BC for the first powerlifting meet of 2021, the GOAT. Once again, unsanctioned meet. That is why you are not seeing singlets for the most part. Okay, here we go, Rachel. Stay tight. That girl. Drive it up. And that is three white lights for a good lift. Good job, Rachel. Ups next. We have Leanne. This is her second back squat at 77.5 kilos, which is a, over 170 pounds. And I say that because I'm not generally putting the decimal places in there. So bear with me. I'm not quick on the kilo transfer. So I am typing it into my phone. Now, I am going to say, too, we have some lifters who are not doing all three lifts. I'll touch on that in a little bit. Okay, Leanne. Once again, this is her first meet. So if you can, give a little love to Leanne for this one. Now, look at that depth. You notice. Oh, oh, no, that's okay. So now... That is not a good lift. She will have a third lift. She can still go up or she can stay the same and attempt it again. Okay. Next up we, sorry, next up we have, I am just waiting. Oh, it is Veronica. Now Veronica is on her second lift and she, oh, she is, sorry, I'm just waiting for it to come up on the screen. <laughs> Bear with me. Now, you'll also notice with a monolift, you can change the height of the rack, let's say, pretty easily. It's a hydraulic system, which is actually quite awesome. So you can have any height and a quickly adjust. So now Veronica is second lift is 90 kilos. So she is at 190 pounds. Well, just over 190 pounds. Once again, I'm not putting the decimals in. Got a girl, Veronica. Drive those. There you go. Now that is three white lights. As you can't, yeah, yeah, you can see that. And that is a good lift for Veronica. 
Now, what is happening in the back? You'll see Jesse talking to the lifters. And, you know, that's a deciding of he's also giving them a little bit of coaching. And, you know, what are they going to hit next for their next lift? And their third and final lift, I should say, too. Now, Lee, we're up to Renee is up next. She is also at 90 kilos, which is over 198 pounds. Now, this is Renee's first powerlifting meet. But she is one strong woman. Sorry, I'm trying to tone the swearing down. Anyways. You'll notice that as these lifters get in there, they wedge themselves into the bar to keep everything tight. Take a deep breath. Get below parallel. Drive it up. And then they wait for the rack mount. Oh, and it is no lift. And we'll see if I can find out what that was. That was depth. So once again, to get a good lift, depth is important. You need to get that hip crease below the knee. So in a sanctioned meet, you are generally wearing a singlet. And that is so that it's very obvious that you are below depth. But as you'll notice, a lot of the women are wearing, um, you know, leggings or tight pants and tight shirts. So it is obvious. Okay, next up is Pat. She is at 105 kilos, which is over 231 pounds. Okay. Had a girl get that drive. No, three red lights, no lift. Once again, that is a death call. So once again, you need to get that hip crease below your knees. Or we say below parallel. It's parallel to your knees. So they still have one more squat. So, you know, you take that judgment and a call. Do you want to? How comfortable do you feel? Why didn't you go deep enough? You know, nerves are a big factor in this. Okay, up next, we have Rachel Hicks. This is her second squat, and she is at 122 kilos, which is over 268 pounds. Rachel is also one of those, well, all the women here today are strong. Let's not, you know, all these women, it's impressive. Okay. Look at that. Okay, look at that. Add a girl. Drive it. Oh, no. Okay. That is a miss lift. Now she can decide to stay or go up. You still can go up even if you miss the lift. Up next is Jade Quilty. This is Jade Quilty's second lift Ooh, at 130 kilos, which is 286.6 pounds. I'm sorry. Once again, I am not good at the conversion, so I am typing it into an app. Okay. Jade is the last lifter in this round. They do have one more back squat after this. As I mentioned before, there are three attempts at. Okay, Jade. Now look at that. Drive it up. Oh, that is a good lift. Three white lights. Okay, and now we're starting our third round and final for the back squat for the ladies. Up on this one is M. Okay. All right, so we're moving into our last. Now, squat. while we have a moment, I would also like to thank the loaders and the platers. We've got a few great guys doing this. You know, this is all volunteer. But when you have a community as awesome as Squamish Barbell, you know, you're always happy to uh, come out and help.
So M is going to be doing her final squat at 55 kilos, which is over 100 and, wow, what are we at? Nope, 121 pounds. Okay, this is their last lift. Oh, no, sorry, let me rephrase that. This is their last fast back squat of the day. Okay. Oh, now stay tight. I want to keep that body tight. You want to drop at a girl, drive it up. That was that was beautiful. That was three white lights for M. Congratulations. That was awesome. And that was a PR. Congratulations, M. Congratulations. This was this is her first meet. And so it is always good when you get all three squats. It's a good start. Okay. Next in coming up, we have Chelsea Sullivan. Now, once again, this is Chelsea's first meet. Now, her third lift is at 67.5 pounds. Now, she had a little bit of a depth issue on the second. So, she, Jesse, Jesse kind of comes up and helps you out with that. And this is a big thing. Like, you don't want to miss depth. Okay, so this is 67.5 kilos, which is 148 pounds. Okay, let's go, Chels. Now, as much as this is a strength sport, this is very much a mental sport. Okay, you got this. Let's go, Chels. Our girl, drive, drive your knees out, drive your knees out. That was beautiful. She racked three white lights. Congratulations, Chelsea. That was a good left. Okay, up next for her third and final back squat is Rachel Mervish. Rachel will be, okay, give me a moment. The screen has not come up yet. Oh, she is going at 77.5 kilos which is over 170 pounds. Okay, let's stay tight. Look at that. That was good. Drive it up. Come on, Rachel. Oh, oh, that was a good fight. That was a good fight. That is no lift. Now this meet Jesse put on to get everybody excited to give the new people a feel for what it is like to do a meet. There is no um, award ceremony. This is really just to get into it. I guess a pat on the back is what you get. Or a high five. Or elbow, I guess. Okay. It is Leanne. She is at 77.5 kilos, which again is just over 170 pounds. Now, this is her third and final back squat. Got a girl. Drive it up. Good. Wait for Yes. That is three white lights. That is a good lift for Leanne. Congratulations. Now, we have Renee. This is Renee's also. All the women will be in their third and final back squat. And now, because it is an unsanctioned event, we are not doing a fourth. Some piece, some meets, you get a fourth lift if you are out to beat a record. But as we are unsanctioned, we're not doing that. Okay. Now, Leanne, oops, sorry, nope, Renee is lifting for her third and final back squat 90 kilos which is 198 pounds well just over put some decimals in there okay once again this is renee's 
first powerlifting meet. Okay. Got it, girl. Stay tight. Good drive, drive, drive. Good lift, Renee. That is three white lights and a good third and final back squat. That is awesome. That is a good feeling. Okay. Next up, we have Veronica. Or inside joke, Vicky. Okay, she her third and final back squat is 95 kilos. It is over 209 pounds. I have to say, I enjoy her belt. There's a little pizzazz on this. Now, once again, this is her first meet. So you'll notice that there is some anxiety. And as someone who has lifted in a few meets, it never changes. That first back squat is stressful. Okay, here we go. Stay tight. Look at that depth drive at a girl, Veronica. Oh, that is three white light for a good lift. That is a good way to end the back squat. Oh, and it is a PR. Good job. Good job. Okay. Up next is Kathy for her third back squat and final. And Kathy, we're just waiting for the numbers to roll through on the screen. Don't know if you can see them. Not really. Um, here we go. So Kathy is up. She is going for 107.5 kilos, which, wow, it is 236.9969 and a few numbers after that pounds. Okay. Not a girl, Kathy. Drive, drive, drive. Look at that. Look at that. That was beautiful, Kathy. That is a good lift. Woo! Good lift. Okay. Now, while I have a moment, I want to thank one of our sponsors, Nestor's Market up in Squamish. Oh, that is a PR for Kathy. Okay, so we're down to our last two female lifters for the back squeeze. <laughs> back squat. I think I need more coffee. Okay, this is Rachel Hicks's third and final back squat. It is 122.5 kilos, which is 207 pounds. Okay, Rachel. Got a girl, drive it. Drive those knees out, Rachel. Drive them, drive, drive, drive. Hold. That is a good lift. Three white lights. Now I've lost this. Yep. Hold on. Okay, once again, this is our. Last lifter for her third and final back squat, Jade Quilty. Now, Jade is, this is actually her first powerlifting meet. She was a competitive right, crossfitter. And Bar is loaded for you, Jade. She will be lifting 135 kilos, which is 297 pounds. Well, actually, 0. 0.6. Come on, Jade. Nice, Jade. Drive it up. Hold for the command. Oh, that is three white lights. That is a good lift for Jade. Congratulations. Now, on the back squat, in some meets, you have a squat command. Today, we have gone with only a rack command. Now, if you miss that rack command and rack early, you will be red lighted and you actually miss your lift. Okay, we are on to the men. This is moving great. So once again, there are new lifters or new, 
you know, this is their first meet. It is a very nervous time. Okay. Now I can't completely, oh, there we go. Yeah, fix the screen. Our first lifter today is Jeff Fielding. Now he is going to be opening at 87. 87.5 kilos. Now there is been some adjustment. I am going to, okay, no, we're just making some shifts. Okay. So we're getting ready for the men. There's a little bit of going to be a little bit of a break. A little bit of a kick here with the motto. Okay. To re-wrap the motto, wait for junior to push the uh, handle back, so wait for the click before you lean in. Okay. Wait for the click before you wrap that bar. Ellen is announcing, and you may have heard that. She is giving just a heads up that on this mono lift, if you, you know, you want to wait. So they bring the arms out when you're going down for the squat. Right, but when you come back in, down. if you rack too early, it will push partner. you out a little bit. Okay. We are up with Jeff Fielding. And once again, this is his first lift at 8.5 kilos, which is 192 point. Nine pounds. That was a good lift. That is three white lights for Jeff. Okay. Now, I love the comments that are flowing in. Thank you, Sally. Okay, up next, we have Alex. This is also Alex's first meet. He will be opening at 90 kilos, which is over... 198 pounds. Okay. This is Alex. So the nerd are definitely there. Okay, look at the depth. Now he's going to wait for the rack now. That is three white lights and a good lift for Alex. Okay, up next, we have Parker. Also Parker. This is also Parker's first meet. It's great to have these guys out and gals out for their first meet. The more people we can get into this sport, the better. So Parker is opening at 107.5 kilos. That is over 236 pounds. Ooh, drive, drive, drive. Hold it for the, there we go. That is a good lift with three white lights for Parker. Okay. Okay, up next we have Darren. Also, Darren's first meet. He is going to be opening up at 115 pounds for his back first back squat. That is over 253 pounds. All right, bar is ready for you, Darren. Okay, the bar is ready. You're up next, followed by Rudy. Ooh, good step. Drive it. That is three white lights for a good lift. Once again, if you are just joining us, this is the goat from Squamish Barbell in beautiful Squamish, BC. This is the first powerlifting meet of 2021 for Squamish Barbell. Now, this is an unsanctioned powerlifting meet. So you'll notice that very few are in um, their singlets. Actually, there is one lifter in a singlet, and we are pretty proud of him. This is Kevin up next. This is not Kevin's first meet. He has actually competed at Western Canadians. He is definitely a seasoned right, Kevin, lifter and uh, definitely a favorite. Kevin is opening up at 145 kilos, which is over 100, no, 319 pounds. Okay, drive. Oh, that was an easy lift for Kevin. That is three good white lights lift. for a good lift. 
Now, as you'll notice, Kevin is wearing the SBD singlet, knee sleeves, and wrist wraps. Okay. So up next is Rudy. He is going to be opening up at 150 kilos, which is over 330 pounds. Okay, car is loaded for Rudy. Now this is his first lift. Now once again, all these lifters are from Squamish Barbell, whether they train on the powerlifting side or the CrossFit side or a bit of both. Ooh, that was good. Now that is three white lights for Rudy and that is a good lift. Ooh, here we go. We're getting the heavy hitters now. That is a pun at the size of some of these men that are coming along. Now, up next is Devlin. Now, Devlin is definitely a seasoned lifter as well. He's sporting a nice mustache this year, too. Now, Devlin is opening up at 165 kilos, which is over 363 pounds. I will say... I have heard a couple of people who are very excited. We do not have to wear singlets for this meet. Okay. All right, bar is loaded. So for bar is loaded Devlin. for Devlin. Zach, you're on deck, followed by Graham. Now you will notice that a lot of them are wearing these leather belts. As a person who deadlift who power lifts, it is one of my key pieces. Ooh, that was good, yeah. Devlin. That is three white lights for Devlin and a good lift for his opening back squat. Okay. Please feel free to share some love on this. A lot of these lifters, it is their first meet. So there are nerves. I'm watching someone on the side and you can see the stress in their face. That first squat is always the most nerve wracking. So we have another season lifter and a coach at Squamish Barbell, Zach. Definitely a favorite. He is opening up at 177.5 kilos. That is over 391 pounds. This is not Zach's first meet. But it is still stressful nonetheless. Ooh, that was good. That is three white lights for Zach and a good lift for his first or opening back squat. Okay, up next, we have Graham, or as he is fondly known, Minty. This is Graham's first powerlifting meet. He does compete on the CrossFit side. So this is his first meet. Once again, it is a little bit of an anxious first lift. Once you get that first squat out of the, out of your system, you definitely feel better, but you'll notice there's a little bit of anxiety in those faces. All, right, it's all part of it. As mentioned, it's not only strength, but it is mental. So Graham is opening at 185 kilos, which is over 407 pounds. Ooh, good drive it, Graham. That is a good lift with three white lights for Graham. That is a good opener. It always helps to get that opening lift. Reduces the stress, gets you ready for some fun for the rest of the day. Okay. Up next is Matt Lucas. All right, so we're on to our last he is our lifters. one of our last so two lifters the in the back squat. He is a seasoned power lifter. Definitely a fan favorite. He is opening at 220 kilos. That is over 485 pounds. Now, Matt has been competing with Squamba for quite a while now. He does remote train once in a while, too. All right, Matt. Bar is ready for you. Okay, Matt. Once again, another lifter sporting an awesome mustache. Let's go, 
buddy? Okay, Matt. Oh, that is beautiful. That is a good lift with three white lights for Matt Lucas. Now, we do have a message from Dan Wales. And he was supposed to be here. But unfortunately, he is not. And we will not let him live that down. Okay, on to our final lifter. For the opening back squat. This is also definitely a fan favorite. Corey Constantine. Now, he is opening at... 230 kilos which is over 507 pounds once again that is over 507 pounds okay Oh, that is beautiful. That is a good lift with three white lights for Corey. All these athletes are amazing. Now, once again, if you're just joining us, we are live from Squamish Barbell for the GOAT. Squamish Barbell is located in beautiful Squamish, BC. Now, this event, or meet, I should say, sorry, is judged by Andrew Norrie. He is a highly, well, yeah, he's a world-class uh, raw powerlifting judge. This event is put on by Jesse Bethano, one of the owners of Squamish Barbell, and one of our, well, he's actually a very well-known coach, both in uh, the CrossFit world and the powerlifting world. Okay, we're up to our second right, lift, right, or second back down. squats, sorry. And we were back to Jeff. Now, Jeff is going for a second lift of 92.5 kilos. And I did not punch this in quick enough. So that is nine. Ooh, that is a good lift by Jeff. 92.5 kilos is over 203 pounds. That is a good lift. Next up, we have Alex. Okay. Alex is going for a second. Or no, his second, sorry, squat right, is 95 Bobby. kilos. Okay, that is over 204 pounds. Once again, this is also Alex's First powerlifting meet. Now, this is a great meet for people to get into the powerlifting side or the powerlifting world. Oh, look at that. Look at that good drive. That is three white lights for Alex and a good lift. The more the merrier in the powerlifting world. Honestly, it is a great community. Third. Now, this is an unsanctioned event, if you're just joining us. So there are very few uh, lifters who are actually wearing singlets. And as someone who does not enjoy wearing a singlet, I feel like it is a good experience to start off right, not wearing one. Okay. We have Parker up for his second squat at, ooh, at 115 kilos, which is... Over 253 pounds. Oh, that's good. Drive it. Drive, drive. That was a good, good lift by Parker. That is three white lights. Once again, this is Parker's first powerlifting meet. Okay. Once again, a huge thank you to all the volunteers and coaches who are here today. I'll try and get some of the names in as we go. You'll notice that there are four gentlemen loading and unloading the monolith and spotting for these people. All right, bar is ready for you, It gets quite tiring. Okay, we are up with Darren Albert, 120 kilos, which is over 264 pounds. 
Oh, no, that is good. That is three white lights for Darren and a good second back squat. And that is a PR for Darren on his second back squat. This is starting out to be a good day. Okay, up next, we have Kevin. Now, once again, Kevin is a seasoned powerlifter. Hold some records. I know Canadian records, and I, I want to say he might. I don't know if he holds some world records in the Raw Powerlifting Federation. Okay. Kevin is second squat is at 155 kilos. That is 341.7 pounds. Ooh, that was a beautiful squat and three white lights for a good lift. Okay. Now, once again, if you're just joining us, I am Sammy Cox. And I have, I'm happy to be here. If you do have questions, please feel free to ask them. I will try and answer them. And shout out to everybody who is watching right now. Okay, up next we have Rudy. His second back squat is going to be 157.5 kilos, which is, bear with me, 347.228 pounds. All right, Rudy. Bar okay, is Rudy. For you, Devlin, you're up next, followed by Zach. Look at that. He's waiting for the rack command. That is three good white lifts. Lift. Three white lights for a good lift. Sorry. Okay. Now, once again, these are in kilos as generally the powerlifting means that a lot of these lifters or I should say Squamish Barbell team competes in are in kilos. These are some fancy plates too. Are they beautiful rogue plates, to be honest? Okay, up next is Devlin, the man with a mustache, or one of the men with a mustache. Now, once again, this isn't Devlin's first meet, but it is still stressful nonetheless. He is, oh, his second back squat is 175 kilos, which is over 385 pounds. Look at that drive. Look at that. Oof. That is three white lights for a good lift for Devlin. Attaboy. Okay. We're coming down to our last couple lifters for their second squat. Nope. That is a lie. I am way off. We're kind of in the middle of the pack right now. Okay. Next up is Zach. Actually, I'm not 100%. Yeah, definitely Zach. Sorry. Um, Zach is second back squat is 185 kilos, which is over 407 pounds. All right, Zach, all right. This is not Zach's first meet, but it is always stressful. It is a mental sport. Strength mental. You need to get that focus in, that set up and get it in tight. Now locked in. Oof, that is beautiful. That is three white lights for a good lift for Zach. Oof. <laughs> Up next is Minty or Graham. Now, Graham, second lift is 192.5 kilos. Oof, that is over 424 pounds. Now, you'll notice that right, a few of these athletes have knee sleeves. They definitely do help. Okay. Oof, that was good. Oh! Oh. Unfortunately, that is not a good lift. But he still has a third squat to go. Okay, we are 
coming up to our two last squatters for their second lift. If you can hear Ellen in the background, that is Matt Lucas followed by Corey Constantine. Once again, Matt is a seasoned lifter, but you know, you're really up against yourself here. That is the one thing that is pretty awesome about powerlifting. Okay, so Matt's right, second lift is 232.5 kilos, which is over 512 pounds. Okay. You'll notice there are quite a few spotters as this is a heavy back squat. Look at that. Drive, Matt, drive, drive, drive out of the hole. He waited for the press. Yeah, he waited for the rack man, and that's three white lights for a good lift. Okay. Now, last but not least, for his second back squat is Corey Constantine. This also not one of Corey's first meets. He is definitely a seasoned lifter. And if I do say so myself, he's a heavy hitter. Now he. Ooh, wow. His second lift back squat is 240 kilos, which is over 529 pounds. Okay. Nabari is ready for Corey. He's the, this is the final lifter for the second back squat. Come on, Corey. Once again, Ooh, now that was a beautiful lift. Oh, that's three red lights. We're going to need to find out from the judge what that one was. Now, I just heard from the judge that that was a depth call. Okay, so we're up for our third and final squats of the day. And we're back around to Jeff. Now, Jeff's final back squat will be 900. Nope. Well, that would be amazing, but I need 7.5 kilos. I need another coffee. 97.5 kilos, which is over 214 pounds. Now, I'm not 100% sure, so don't hold me to this, but I am pretty sure this is Jeff's first powerlifting meet. So once again, show All some right, love for these bar lifters. Is ready and loaded for you, Jeff. Okay. That looks good. Let's drive it out of the pool. Oh, that is three white lights for a good lift for Jeff. That is third back squat. And that is always a nice way to end the back squat. It was the third good lift. Okay. Up next, we have Alex. This is his first meet as well. You know, it is an exciting thing. I love getting new lifters into the powerlifting world. So his third lift is going to be... Hundred kilos, whew, which is over 220 pounds. Once again, all these lifters are from Squamish Barbell, whether they're CrossFitters or power lifters. These are amazing athletes. Okay. Let's drive out. That is three white lights for a good third lift for Alex. Congratulations. And it is a PR. That's what we like to hear. You might be able to see the bell in the back. Now that is our PL, or sorry, that is our PR bell for Squamish Barbell, whether you're CrossFit, Powerlifter, or whatever. When you hit a PR, which is a personal record, you go and you ring that bell. We also do have a board. We write it on as well. 
We're expecting some good PRs today. Okay, Parker is up for his last back squat of the day at 120 kilos, which is over 264 pounds. Okay, this is Parker's first meet. Oof. Drive it, drive, keep going. Now that was a good one. That is three white lights for Parker and a good third lift. Once again, after this, we will be going into the women's bench press. Now, this is Darren's third and final back squat of the day. This is his first powerlifting meet as well. He is going to be doing the third. Uh, what are we at? He is going to do the third squat at 125 kilos. Drive it, drive it. Come on, Darren. Fight for that. Fight for that. Woo. That is three white lights for a good third lift for Darren. That was a good fight. That's what you like to see here. And a PR. Congratulations, Darren. Okay. Now, Kevin is up. Once again, I've been training with Kevin for a couple of years now. And it is impressive. So Kevin's third and final back squat is going to be 165 kilos, which is over 363 pounds. Okay. Kevin is definitely a fan favorite. And he does have records and does, has competed on the Western Canadian stage. And I think pretty sure he competed at Worlds, but don't quote me on that. Okay. Let's drive out of the hole. Oh, no. That is three red lights, and that is no lift. Now, this is something that is good about these meets, is you take that information and you work on where your misses are, whether it's your depth, um, how you unrack, where you get stuck. This is all good information, especially when it's just an inter-gym one. Now, even though it is inter-gym, you will see this is a fantastic setup. This is very much under the mastermind of Jesse Buffano. We are very, very lucky to have him here. Once again, if you're just joining us, we are live from Squamish Barbell for the GOAT powerlifting meet. Okay, this is a beautiful Squamish BC. Now we are up next with Rudy for his third and final back squat, which is 165 kilos. We, oh, yeah, forgot. Sorry. Which is 363 pounds. That's a good drive. That is three white lights for a good third lift for Rudy. And another PR. PRs all around, I hope, today. Okay. Now, Devlin is up next. Devlin's third lift is 182.5 kilos. All right, Devlin, bar is ready and loaded for you. Which is over 402 pounds. Let's go, buddy. Let's go. Once again, this sport is not only strength, but mental. You want to keep that body tight, drive out of the pool with all you got. Oh, that is a beautiful third lift by Devin. Devlin, sorry. Three white lights. You've got to be happy with that. Okay. Up next is Zach. He is going to be doing 192.5 kilos for his third and final back squat. That is over 424 pounds. As you'll notice, there are some amazing mustaches. 
part and parcel because it is Movember, but also because some of these guys just sport awesome mustaches. Okay. Oh, it's beautiful drive. Fight, fight, fight. That is a good fight. That is three white lights for Zach. That is a good lift. That is always nice to see. And a PR for Zach. Oh, this is a good day. Once again, if you are just joining us, this is the GOAT powerlifting meet at Squamish Barbell in beautiful Squamish, BC. I right, can see out. All right, bar is ready and loaded for you. Now, up next is Minty, Graham Minty. He is at 192.5 kilos for his third and final squat, which is 424 pounds. Fight, Graham, fight, fight, fight. Now, that was a beautiful lift. That is what you want to see today. That is exactly what you want to see. That was a fight and a PR. Congratulations, Graham. No. This is going to be a good day. So, if you can hear Ellen in the background, this we're going to have a little bit of a break between the squat and the bench because we do need to move the mono lift. This is not a light apparatus, but these guys are well versed in this kind of stuff. Okay, we are down to our two last lifters for the back squat. Up next is Matt Lucas with 237.5 kilos, which is over. 523 pounds. Okay, as you notice, this is a heavy, heavy barbell at this point. And so there are multiple spotters. Come on, drive, Matt. Fight. Now, this is a good fight. This is a good fight. That is a good lift. Three white lights for Matt Lucas. That is awesome. That is what we want to see today. This is coming to be a good meet. Okay. Last but not least, for the back squat is Corey. <laughs> Here we go. He is going to be squatting 250 kilos, which is over 551 pounds. Okay, share some love for Corey. This is awesome. All right, bar is ready and loaded for you, Corey. Let's go, Corey. This is yeah, our guys. squatter of the day. This is the last squatter of the day, Corey Constantine. Definitely a fan favorite today. Okay. Show some love for Corey. Oh, drive, drive, fight, Corey. Fight, 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 fight. That is three white lights for Corey and a good lift. Yes, that is the best way to end the squats. That was a good fight. Congratulations, Corey. That is 551 pounds. 551 pounds, people. Okay, so we're going to have a bit of a break between this while we move out the monolift and bring the bench in. Now, once again, this is another apparatus that uh, uh, Squamish Barbell has uh, built in-house. It is impressive. I am, feel very lucky to be a part of this gym and the fact that we have some impressive apparatus, we have impressive coaches, and we have some impressive athletes here. While I got a minute, I'm going to give a shout out to Nestor's Market for sponsoring this event. And all the volunteers. I will try and touch on them, but uh, I'm going to take a quick break so I can get some more fluids in me and uh, I will be right back.
Okay, welcome back to Squamish Barbells competition, the GOAT, the unsanctioned powerlifting meet. Now we are starting with the first bench of the women today. Now, if you're just joining us, this is live from beautiful Squamish, BC. Leanne is doing her first bench at 45 kilos, which is 99.2 pounds. Now, you need to wait. That is it. Now, that is a good lift. That's good three white lights. Lift. So just a little bit on the back squat. Sorry, we are on Don't the bench press. Now, when with the bench press, you have a couple commands, and you also do need to wait for that bar to stop moving. So that's why you'll see there is a pause. They are waiting for the judge to let them know that they can press it out. Now, also, Jesse right, Buffano, who is the mastermind behind this competition, is the um, person who is doing the pass over or the bump. Now it is Renee is up for her first. She's also at 45 kilos, which is over 99 pounds. And look at that press. And that is a good lift. Three white lights for Renee. Okay. Now we have a new lifter in the fold. This is Andrea Young Meadows. Now, she did not do the back squat, but she is doing the push-pull event, as we call it. So she didn't do the squat, but she will be doing the bench and the deadlift. Now, Andrea is also opening at 45 kilos, which is 99, over 99 pounds. Now... Andrea. Now you see that they wait for that bar to stop moving, call a press, and then a rack command. That is three white lights for Andrea. That is a good lift. This is how you kind of want it to go. You do really want to get all your first lifts at least. It does set a good precedent. Okay, we're coming up to our third lifter on the bench. And she is starting with 47.5 kilos, which I can't get it into the app quick enough, which is over 104 pounds. Now, this bench was also custom made by Squamish Browdown members. And it, I have to say, it is pretty cool. That steel look oof, looks good. Okay. Once again, this is M's first meet. So this there is a bit of stress here, but once you get that squat over with, you do tend to calm down a bit. There we go. It is stressful. So you wait for the pause. And press. Oh, oh, that is no good. So one of the things is when you press the bar out, you have to wait for the rack command. Now, that is an easy fix, because if you do that dump, it's not a problem. You probably can still go up and wait. So, another thing with the back... Oh, sorry. I'm going to... should really get some more coffee in me. Another thing with the bench press is that you need to keep your head and your shoulders on the bench and your behind. Your feet need to be... Your feet need to be firmly on the ground. Now, this is also helps you with the back squat. You can use your feet to push in and that energy to be transferred into the push of the bench. Okay, we are up with Chelsea Sullivan. She is also opening at 47.5 kilos. Once again, this is Chelsea's first meet. Okay. Wait for that bar to stop moving. The press command and a rack command. That is a three white lift. Three white lights for a good lift. Congratulations, Chelsea. Okay. Once again, if you are just joining us, we are on to the bench lift today over here at Squamish Barbell for the GOAT competition in beautiful Squamish BC. And just to let you know, to make you all jealous, if you are not in Squamish, I can see snow on the mountains. 
Yes, it is November and snow season is coming. Okay, Kathy is coming in for her first bench at 50 kilos, which is a hundred and ten over 110 pounds. Okay, we wait for that stillness, that press call, and a rock call. That is a good lift for Kathy. Okay. Thank you, Dan, for sending me the conversion chart, but I am still slow with this. <laughs> Anyways, up next is Rachel Mervish. She is opening the bench at 52.5 kilos. That is 115 pounds. And I will say this. So I am not good at the kilo conversion, which if you are, congratulations. I have an app, and this is how I survive. Okay, so Rachel for... Mervish's first lift. <laughs> now, once again, with all power lifting movements, you really do want to maintain that tightness within your body. And you'll see that these lifters get set quite well. You wait for that bar to stop moving. You drive it up. And that is a good lift. That is three white lights for Rachel Mervish for her first bench press of the day. Okay. We are up with Veronica. This is her first meet. This is her and her first bench of the day. She is going to be opening at 52.5 kilos, which is over 115 pounds. Please guys, comment on this thing. Give some support to these athletes. They're doing a great job here. Okay. Once again, this is Veronica's first competition. And she is killing it so far. Right. No. Unfortunately, she did not wait for the press command. So that is going to be three red lights. But she can easily go up and do a third one. Now, when it is your first meet, there are things you definitely forget, and I can say even maybe your second. Um, and one of those is the commands. Now, if you aren't a competitive pilot or haven't competed, you might not be familiar with the commands. And when you're in that stressful position, you do tend to forget. Anyways, we are on to our next lifter, Rachel Hicks, who is opening the bench at 50. 7.5 kilos, which is over 126 pounds. Hicks, as she is known to other athletes here, it is her first meet. Oh no, it might not be. Look at that drive. Look at that fight. Keep fighting, Rachel. And then she waited for the rack man. Woo, that was good. Three white lights for Rachel Hicks. That is a good lift. Okay, guys. We are up to our next bencher. This is Jade Quilty for her first bench press of the day show some love for jade guys she is opening at 62.5 kilos i don't know if you can see that very well but it is on that white screen behind the lifter and 62.5 is over 137.7 and a lot of numbers after pounds okay Once again, this is Jade's first powerlifting meet. Now that is a beautiful drive it. That is a beautiful lift by Jade Quilty. These athletes are doing amazing today. Okay. Now we have another new lifter into the mix. This is Pam. Pam is only going to be doing the bench today. She has a little bit of a, uh, well, 
she's rehabbing a knee as well. So unfortunately, she cannot do the squat or the deadlift. But Jessie coerced her. Well, she's rehabbing a knee as well. So unfortunately, she cannot do the squat or the deadlift. But Jessie coerced her into doing the bench because her bench right, is impressive. She is opening up, up at 85 kilos, which is over 187 pounds. She is the last athlete to be benching their first right, bench. Ready, okay. Yeah, Let's go, Pam. Oof, look at that precision. Oh, that is a beautiful lift. That is three white lights for Pam and a good lift. We are starting this bench out on a good note, guys. All right, so moving on to bench two. Okay, this is the a. second bench yeah, for the lifters today. Leanne, okay, Renee, we are Andrea. starting with Leanne on her second lift. And they are, well, Leanne is starting her second lift at 100. No, let's, let's start again. Shake that off. At 47.5 kilos, which is over 104 pounds. This is impressive, right, guys. Laura, you also need to Laura, take into consideration the weight of the athlete. You know, that is a big thing. So in powerlifting, that is actually how, in a meet, the first, second place and all those are determined. Look at that drive. Rack. That is a good lift. Three white lights for Leanne. The weight is going to stay in the same. Okay, we're staying at the All same right, weight, same. which is 47.5 kilos. It's over 104 pounds with Renee second bench press. All right, ready Once again, this is Renee's first powerlifting meet. So show some love, guys. Look at that drive. Oh, no. That was, that, was a... Whew. that was close. That is three white lights for Renee and a good lift. So what happens to, which is key to take into consideration, if the bar stops making an upward motion and starts going down, it actually is a no lift. Even if you waver a little bit, as long as you're still making an upward motion, you're still good. Okay. Up next, we have Andrea Young Meadows. She is also going to be doing her second lift at 47.5 kilos. Once again, over 104 pounds. Andrea is only doing the push-pull of the event. Ooh, that looks good. Look at that drive out. That is a beautiful lift for Andrea Young Meadows and a good lift. Three white lights. You begin to really love those white lights. Okay. Up next... We have M. She is going to be doing her second lift at 50 kilos, which is over 110 pounds, guys. These women are impressive. Okay. Now, what is happening here, once again, with the Passover or the bump? Jesse is allowing the lifter to keep their body tight so that they can move the bar out of the rack. Okay. And you notice they stay tight. They bring it down. You press as hard as possible. Fight. Fight that. Fight that. And keep going. Now, as you can see, she is steadily going up. Oh! She racked too early, so that is a no lift, but a good fight nonetheless. You got to take that for what it is. She still did an awesome lift. Okay. It's always a hard one. That was a good fight, though. Okay. 
up next, we have Chelsea. This is her second lift, and she is also going to be at 50 kilos. Once again, this is Chelsea's first meet. It is very exciting. Okay. Ooh, that is a look at that. Drive it, drive it, hold it tight, and wait for the rack. That is a good lift. Three white lights for Chelsea and a good second lift. Okay. Up next, we have Kathy. Kathy is second bench is going to be 52.5 kilos. That is over 115 pounds. Kathy is a seasoned lifter. She holds a couple records. But nonetheless, as mentioned before, this is a mental game as well as a strength game. Or sport, let's say. Okay, Kathy. Here we go for her second bench. You also might notice that there are some blocks underneath her feet. And that is a good lift. That is three white lights for a good lift for Kathy. Now those blocks help the shorter athletes because if you notice the bench part itself does not actually lift. So if you are short, you need to make some adjustments and those, as we call them blocks, do a good effort. So you either can have two, one, I don't think we have any lifters who have three. Okay, up next is Rachel Mervish for her second right. bench Rachel, Woo. at 55 you. kilos. Brian, That's Amy, over 121 Brian. pounds. Now, you do need to take into consideration how much these athletes weigh. And so these numbers are impressive. Okay. Look at that drive. Fight it. Fight it, Rachel. That was a good press. That is a good rack and that is a good lift. Three white lights and a PR for Rachel, guys. Show some love. Okay. Next up, we have Veronica with her second bench. She is just waiting for it to come up on the screen. Oh, 55 kilos as well. Now, once again, this is Veronica's first meet. So show some love, guys. This, I can say from first-hand experience, this is stressful. Okay. Once again, this is over 121 pounds. This is her second bench of the day. That looks good. That is a good drive. Woo, just, just. That is three white lights for a good left. Once again, you do not rack until the judge gives you the signal. So that's why you, if you rack it before, you've lost that lift, unfortunately. One of the many mind games played by the powerlifting sport. Okay, up next, we have Rachel Hicks with her second bench, which is 60 kilos, which is over 132 pounds. We are coming up to our last three lifters of this heat. Or flight, sorry. Powerlifting, flight. Anyways, Rachel Hicks for her second lift at 60 kilos. Uh, girl, drive, fight, Rachel. Oh, oh, no. That was a good fight, though. That is a no lift for Rachel Hicks on her second lift, but she still has a third bench to go. Now she can either go up or make the same attempt at the same weight. Okay, up next is Jade Quilty for her second bench. Now, Jade Quilty, I am waiting for the numbers. There we go. 
Jade Quilty, second bench is 65 kilos, which is over 143 pounds. Come on, Jade. Okay, the bar is ready for Jade. This is an exciting day. Okay. That is beautiful. Look at that drive. Pull for the command. Oh, that is a good lift, guys. Three white lights for Jade. Okay. Last for this round on the second bench is Pam. Ooh, okay, Pam is going to go for 90 kilos. Over 198 pounds, guys. 198 pounds. That is over her body weight. I know it's significantly over her body weight. That is a big man. That is what we're looking for today. Now, Pam has hit over 200 pounds in the gym. But that's not in competition. So this is a big reason she is benching today. But once again, she's only benching because she is rehabbing a knee. Which is still really impressive that she can bench with a rehabbing knee. Okay. Look at that. Oh, that is still easy. Three white lights for Pam and a good lift. Oh, that was beautiful. Okay, we are on to our third round of women for the bench press right, okay so we we, three, we are coming eight. up with leanne now leanne is going to be doing 47.5 kilos which is over 104 pounds now once again this is leanne's first powerlifting meet and as i mentioned many times before it is a mental sport all right, bar okay. is ready and loaded for you. Yeah. Let's show some support. Oh, hold on. Okay. That is 47.5 kilos on the bar. Let's show some support for Leanne, guys. Drive, 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 drive. Oh, come on, fight, fight. Oh. That was a good fight, though. No that is a no lift, unfortunately. But you still have one more lift to go, which is the dead. And that is where the fun begins for some. Anyways, up next is Renee for her third and final bench of the day. Renee is going to be benching 50 kilos, which is over 110 pounds, guys. This is her third lift. Okay, guys. Come on, fight. Oof. That was a rough one. That was a good try, Renee. That was a good try. Up next is Andrea Young Meadows. I do have the pleasure of training with a lot of these athletes. And Andrea is one of them. Andrea is also going to be doing 50 kilos for her third bench. Which is 110 pounds. Let's throw some love out there for Andrea. Now fight. Good. That is a good lift by Andrea Young Meadows. That is three lights. That's what we want. Woo, that is a good lift. Okay, guys. This is the kind of day you love. All right, M. Bar is Next is M up with 52.5 kilos for her third bench. That is over 115 pounds, guys. 
we have some impressive lifters. Not some. We have all impressive lifters. A lot of these athletes, this is their first meet. Okay, guys. Let's show some support for these athletes. Okay, fight. Just drive. This is where the fight comes in. Come on. Come on, Em. Oh, it was a good fight, though. But it's three red lights, unfortunately. And the lift is no good. Okay. Next up, we have Chelsea. This right, Once again, guys. this is Chelsea's first meet. And Chelsea's first, sorry, her third bench is going to be 52.5 kilos, which is over 115 pounds, guys. This is impressive. I cannot think of a better thing to be doing on a Saturday morning than watching these lifters. Oof. Come on, fight, fight, Chelsea, fight. Oh, that is good. Oh, that was a good fight. That was a good lift by Chelsea. That is what we want to see, guys. That is what we want to see. And we even get another PR. Congratulations. I do love this sport. Okay, up next we have Kathy. Kathy's third and final bench will be 55 kilos. Wow, which is over 121 pounds. Okay. As the day goes on, I do have to say the stress kind of decreases a little bit, but it's still there. Okay. The bar is ready for Kathy. This is her third and final bench of the day. Okay. Let's show some support for these athletes, guys. Oh, that is good, Kathy. That is three white lights for a good third lift for Kathy. Woo! And a PR. Okay, guys, we're up next with Rachel Mervis for her third and final bench of the day. She is going in at 57.5 kilos. Sorry, that is over 126 pounds, guys. And she is a smaller athlete. Now, the coefficient is actually what really comes into play with these athletes. So it's your body weight versus the weight you move. I'm not good at math, so I'm not going to get any more into that. But uh, you can Google it. Okay. For third and final bench for Rachel. Look at that. Fight it. Fight it. Fight. Oh. oh, that was a good fight. Unfortunately, no lift for Rachel. Okay. Up next. We have Veronica. This is her third and final lift of her, or third and final bench, sorry. She still has a deadlift of her first powerlifting meet. Oof. She is also lifting 57.5 kilos. That's over 126 pounds, guys. Okay. Let's throw some love out there for these athletes, guys. Thanks, Sally, for the love earlier, by the way. Or support. Okay. Come on. That is easy. Wait. Oh, that is good. That is a good third lift for Veronica. Congratulations. That is always a good feeling. Okay. Up next, we have Rachel Hicks, commonly known in the gym as Hicks, as we have a lot of Rachels here. Her third and final bench today will be 60 kilos, which is over 132 pounds. I really wish I could do this in my brain quicker. 
Okay, Rachel, you're just waiting for the spotter. Jesse is just sorting some stuff out. Okay, he's All right, back. All right, bar is ready and loaded for you, Eric. Jade here on deck, followed by Pam. These are our last three lifters for flight A. Okay. This is Rachel's third bench. Look at that. Fight, fight, Rachel. Fight it, fight it. Oh, that was a good fight. Unfortunately, a no left. That is three red light so on no left but once again guys this is a learning process for most of these athletes or actually all of these athletes whether you're a seasoned powerlifter or not one of the things that is great about a meet is you do come out with a lot of information whether it's where you fail where you succeed your mental game how to eat how to prep that's why these inter gym ones are great Okay. Up is Jade Quilty whew, at 67.5 kilos. That is over 148 pounds for her third lift. Once again, this is also Jade's first powerlifting meet. Jade also co coaches at Squamish Barbell. Come on, fight Jade. Now, this is a fight. You'd like to see this. Just a steady fight up. Oh, that is what we want to see today, guys. That is a good lift. Three white lights for Jade. That fight is something that it's always impressive. Okay. We are up to our third and final female lifter for the bench press. Pam. Okay, so Pam is going to be benching. 92.5 kilos, which is over 203.92759 and continues on pounds. This is a big deal. Oh, that threshold man. for 200 pounds for a female powerlifter is a very big deal, especially at her body weight. As mentioned, she is only doing the bench today as she is rehabbing a knee, which also is amazing on the bench because you do use your legs use that drive through your legs okay this is the third and final bench for pam <gasps> fight pam fight look at this fight guys look at this fight it is a steady fight come on this is what we want oh no that was a good fight though that is what you like to see even though it is a no left that is impressive oh all right, Lickers, that is the end of flight Okay, that a. is the end of flight A for the women. Okay, we are up now with flight B, which is the men's flight. Oh, this is getting exciting, guys. Okay. Now, once again, these are a lot of lifters first meet. But they're all coming up to learn some stuff. Okay, guys, we are about to start the flight B, which is the men for their bench press. We are starting off with Alex at 60 kilos. Once again, this is Alex's first meet. All right, car is ready and loaded for you, Alex. Here in your deck, followed by Jeff. So 60 kilos is over 132 pounds. Okay. Now, if you're just joining us, we are coming live from Squamish Barbell for the GOAT unsanctioned powerlifting meet. 
from beautiful Squamish, BC. That is beautiful. That is a nice lift by Alex. That is three white lights. Good lift. Up next, we have Darren at 72.5 kilos. That is over 159 pounds for his opening All right, bet. Bar is loaded and ready for you, Darren. Jeff, you're on deck, followed by Parker. Once again, this is Darren's first meet, guys. Okay. I'm waiting for that press command. Yeah. Nice drive. Wait for the rack man. That is a good, good lift. Three yeah. white lights, guys. Once again, we are. This meet is sponsored by Nestor's Market in beautiful Squamish, BC. Shout out to Sean Daly over there. Okay. And if you're just joining us, I am your announcer, Sammy Cox. And can proudly say I train at this gym with these amazing athletes. Okay, next up we have Jeff Fielding. His opening bench is going to be 70, sorry, 75 kilos, which is over 165 pounds, guys. Now, once again, there's two commands, the press command, which is just had, and the rack command. That is a great lift, Jeff. That is three white lights and a good lift for Jeff. Now, if you miss either of those commands, unfortunately, it is a no lift. It is a hard thing to deal with. And even the judges, you know, you watch these athletes and they just might miss the rack command. And that is a no lift. It hurts the judges, too, to say that. Okay, we're up with Parker's opening bench, which is 75 kilos. That is over 165 pounds, guys. This is also Parker's first meet. I am re-mentioning a lot of things just in case you're just joining us. You wait for the raft. Sorry, the bench. And then you wait for the raft. Yeah, bro! That is a good, good lift man. by Parker. Congratulations. It is nice to get all your openers. That is my goal when I compete. Oh, we now have Kevin. Kevin is opening his bench at 90 kilos, which is over 198 pounds. Kevin is one of our seasoned or veteran right, powerlifters and has competed on the oh world God. stage for the Raw Powerlifting Federation. That is a beautiful lift by Kevin. Good Congratulations, man. Kevin. That's a good lift. Three white lights. Okay, guys. We are re coming up to Rudy for his first bench press of the day at 105 kilos. Woo. That is over 231 pounds. All right, Rudy Bar is ready and loaded for you. Jack, you're up next. Once again, oh, if you are just joining us, this a lot of these athletes today, this is their first powerlifting meet. It's a great learning experience, but it also gets some of these athletes into the powerlifting world, which we are always accepting new members. Okay, look at that. Good. That is a good lift. Three white lights for Rudy. Good now, lift. as mentioned before, you do need to wait for the rack man. So if they swing the bar right out of the press into the rack, unfortunately, it is a no lift. Now, once again, I want to thank all the volunteers here today. I'll throw out some names in a little bit. But uh, so we've got guys 
plating right, and Zach, spotting. Ready, We've ready, got ready, guys like working all the computer technologies, the numbers. We've got people helping up in the warm up area. Oh, we are up with Zach. This is his opening bench at 110 kilos, which is over 242 pounds. That was crisp. That is three white lights for Zach and a good opening bench. If they would let me, but they won't, I would show you what's going on here. And it is an impressive situation behind the screens, behind the, the scenes as well. Up next is Minty Graham, sorry, fondly known as Minty, at 120 kilos for his opening bench. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, the bar is ready for Graham and his opening bench. That is a beautiful first lift. Three white lights for Graham and his opening bench is good. Now feel free to ask some questions if you are newer to the powerlifting world. I will try and answer them. No guarantees. But I can ask other people around me for questions. I've been in this game long enough. I should know the answers, but once again, if you know me, Right, you know how Devlin I am. Okay, Devlin is opening up his bench at 122.5 kilos. That's over 270 pounds. That's a beautiful. That is a beautiful lift. That is three white lights for Devlin and a good lift. Look at these guys. Okay, up next is Matt Lucas for his opening bench. He is going to be opening at 140 kilos. That is over 308 pounds. Whew, okay. Once again, this is not Matt's first meet. He is a seasoned veteran of the powerlifting world. But it is a veteran of the powerlifting world. But it is a is ready a mental ready game with this deck. sport. Matt exponentially got stronger in the last couple of years. It is impressive. Okay, Matt. That is a beautiful lift. Oh my goodness. Three white lights for a good lift for Matt. This is getting exciting. Okay, up next, we definitely have a fan favorite on the bench. Corey is opening up at 62.5 kilos. Ooh, that is, oh, over 358 pounds, guys. Okay. Okay, okay. Corey is a seasoned veteran as well. But once again, there is always that right, Corey, mental Mark game of sport. Ooh, I'm getting excited. Alex, you're on deck. Now, Corey has been with Squamish Barbell on the powerlifting side for a few years. But only recently has he been coming as much that was a, that was a wow that was a beautiful lift three white lights for Corey's opener at over 358 pounds okay we are coming up to the second bench press for the flight b which of the men sorry flight b is the men. okay now we have alex with his second which is going to be 62.5 kilos which is over 137 pounds. Once again, this is Alex's first meet. And a lot of these athletes here today, it is their first meet. Oh. I'm, I personally am hoping that a lot of these athletes will get the 
All right, Alex Barr is ready for you. I guess Spark to uh, either continue on the powerlifting world or join us. Okay. So Alex is starting the second round of the bench for Flight B, which are the men. Oh, that's a good look at that. That is a good second one for Alex. Three white lights. Now, usually in a meet, you do actually have three judges. So that's why there's three lights. Today, as it is an unsanctioned and an engine jam, we only have the one, the infamous Andrew Nori. But that is why there's three. So three different judges. So you could have two white, one red, two red, one white, all those mixes. But as long as there are more white than red lights, it is a good lift. Today, you are at the mercy of Andrew Nori, though. Right there, and Barr is ready and loaded for you. Jeff, you're on deck. He's definitely one of the more impressive judges in the raw powerlifting world. Okay, Darren's up for his second at 75 kilos. That is a good, good lift. Man. Whew, second is 75 kilos, which is over 165 pounds. That is a good lift. Okay, guys, we are coming up to Jeff Fielding. His second bench is going to be 77.5 pounds. That is over 170 pounds. Whew, this is getting exciting. Okay. Look at that. He waits for the press. I love it. That's a good. That is good. That is three white lights and a good left for Jeff on his second bench press. Woo. Caffeine is kicking in, guys. Okay. Up next is Parker. Once again, this is Parker's first meet, and he's. Second bench is going to be 80 kilos, which is over 176 right, Barr, pounds, Parker. as per Parker my app on my phone. Excitement. Second lift of the day. We are going to be ending with the bench. Uh, sorry, the deadlift, which is always exciting. Come on, Come on Parker. Parker. Oh. That's okay. He does have a third attempt. Unfortunately, that is a no lift for Parker on his second lift. Okay. Up next, we have Kevin. Kevin's second bench is going to be... It has not... There we go. 95 kilos, which is over 209 pounds. Kevin right, competes Kevin's on the master's side of the powerlifting world. Now, powerlifting is like Olympic lifting, wrestling, and some of those other sports is act. Oh, and I guess fighting uh, is divided into weight classes and age classes. Okay. Look at that beautiful movement. That's three white lights for Kevin on his second lift and a good lift. Ooh, okay. We are coming up to Rudy for his second bench of the day at 110 kilos. That is 242.58 in a bunch of numbers. All right, Rudy, the bar is ready, okay, the bar is ready for Rudy. Rudy. Come on, Rudy. That's a good drive. Oh, that is a no lift, unfortunately. Oh. I will check and let you know what that one was.
Now, unfortunately, his bum came off the bench. As mentioned before, for the bench press, um, some of the rules are your back and head need to stay, or your, sorry, your shoulders and head need to stay on the bench, and so does your behind. Your feet right, also need to be flat on the floor. That does vary a little bit between the powerlifting unions, but here today and in the raw uh, powerlifting federation, that is the standard. Okay, Zach is up for his second bench of the day at 100 and 12.5 kilos which is over 248 pounds Oof, that was crisp that is a good lift for that is a good lift for zach okay now we're up to graham minty or minty once again this is graham's first powerlifting meet and he is going to be Attempting 125 kilos for his second bench of the day. All right, Graham, bar is ready. Okay, the bar is ready for Graham. Followed by Mass. This day just keeps getting better and better. Okay. Let's for the press cam. Look at that. Oh, that looked easy. That looked easy. That is three white lights for Graham and a good second bench press for Graham. Okay. Oof. It is getting even more exciting. Okay, guys. Up next is Devlin. Devlin's second bench press of the day is... One hundred and twenty seven point five kilos. That is one hundred and twenty seven point five kilos, which is over two hundred and eighty one pounds. Whew, OK. Now that is. That is three white lights and a good lift for Devlin. That was good. Now you'll notice some of the athletes actually are wearing wrist wraps. You are allowed to wear wrist wraps for the bench as long as there are thumb holes in wrist wraps. If you are familiar with Olympic lifting or CrossFit, there are thumb holes. You aren't allowed to wear those thumb hooks if you are benching. But you are allowed to wear the wrist wraps. So you just flip that little All hook right, Matt, out. Okay, we are up next with Matt Lucas for his second bench of the day. 145 kilos, which is over 319 pounds. Okay, guys. We are almost at the bottom of this flight. That is nice and steady. That is a good lift by Matt Lucas for his second lift at 145 kilos. Once again, if you are just tuning into us, we are rounding out the bench press of the day with flight B, which are the men. We are just at our, no, wait, this is the last athlete in the second, for their second bench, Corey Constantine. <laughs> Ooh, here we go. This is a big jump. We are at 170 kilos. That is over 374 pounds. I repeat, over 374 pounds. Let's go, Corey. Okay, guys. That is some pretty fine plates on there. Look at that steadiness. Come on. Now, that was a no lift. And I want to say because he missed the call, but no I will lift. check. Unfortunately, that was a missed press command. All right. So now Corey does have options. We have Alex 
he can continue to go higher as he was still making it. Or he can stay at the same weight and try it again. So we have some weird plating going on here. Um, there we go. Nope, that sorted out. Okay, we are up to the third bench of the day for these lifters. That is your third and final bench of the day. So we are starting that right, off with right, Alex right, at 65 right, kilos. Once again. Wait, pause, hurry. Nope. Yeah, yep, the go. bench is ready. Okay. Once again, these a lot of these athletes, this is their first powerlifting meet. It is an experience. And it, you know, it, it is nice when it's done. Um, but it does have stress throughout the day. This is a mental sport. Strength and mental. Okay, so for third lift for Alex. Just now you want that. Oh. Unfortunately, that is a no lift for Alex for his li third lift, but he has had a good day so far. Okay. Up next for their third bench press is Darren Albert. Darren is attempting 80 kilos, which is over 176 pounds. Okay, guys. Bar is ready and loaded for you. Jeff, you're up next the same week. Thank you for the appreciation, Dory. Keep the comments coming, guys. Okay, this is Darren's third and final bench press. Oof, there we go. That is that is impressive. Oh, unfortunately, that is a no lift because he racked too early. That is always hard for the judges, but it is part of the sport. Okay. Up next for his third and final bench of the day is Jeff. Fielding. Now, Jeff is also going to be attempting 80 kilos, which is over 176 pounds. All right, Jeff, bar is... Okay. We are waiting for the spotter. Ready and loaded for you. Okay. Jeff is up for his third lift. Let's go, Jeff. Mark, you're on deck of the same weight. Oh, my Kevin. Now, guys, stay tuned, because after the bench, we are going into the deadlift. Come on, Jeff. Hold it for the rest. Oh, no. Oh, no. You can see what happens. They know it as soon as they do it. Unfortunately, that is a no lift for Jeff. But it was good nonetheless. Once again, they do need to wait for the command. So on the bench, it is a press command. Once the bar is steady on their chest. And a rack command. Okay, Parker is up for his third and final bench of the day. Which is 80 kilos. Which is, un Ooh. once again, that is over 176 pounds. This is Parker's first meet. It's nice to get a first meet under the belt on a situation like this, where you don't have to wear singlet. It's all people you train or know at the gym. Come on. Now, unfortunately, that is a no lift for Parker, but he's still having a good day. Yeah. I mean, even though this is an inter-gym meet, you will notice that Jesse does not cut corners. This is one of the benefits of being at CrossFit Squamish. Or, sorry, nope. <laughs> Squamish Barbell. Yeah, we are coming up to Kevin. Have a third and final bench of the day, which is 97.5 kilos, which is over 214 pounds. It's actually just shy of 215 pounds. Kevin is the only athlete today who has or is sporting his singlet, which I am impressed with. It does help to do this because it, as you generally have to wear a singlet for the meet. Come on, Kevin. That looks beautiful. And he waited for all the commands. That is three white lights and a good lift, Kevin Haverell. Okay. 
we are up next with Rudy. This is Rudy's third and final bench press. He's going to be benching 110 kilos, which is over 242.5 pounds. I hope you guys are enjoying this. And if you are just joining us, we are in the middle of the bench for flight B at the GOAT competition at Squamish Barbell in wow, beautiful Squamish, BC. Rain or shine, this place is beautiful. Okay. Once again, guys, once again, guys, thank you for joining us. Come on, Rudy. Don't rack, don't rack. Oh, good. He waited for the rack commands. Okay, that is a good lift by Rudy. A little touch and go there, but that was a good lift. Oh, unfortunately, that was not a PR, but it was a good lift. Okay, up next is Zach. Zach is going to be attempting for his third and final lift, 115 kilos. And if I could actually type this into the app, I would tell you what it is in pounds. All right, Zach, okay, ready, it is 253 pounds. Once again, thank you guys for joining us. The support of these athletes is awesome. Once again, after the bench, we are going to be moving into the deadlift and starting with flight A, which are the women. Oh, that was nice and precise. That was a good third lift by Zach. Whew. Okay, up next is Graham, or commonly referred to here, Minty. He is going to be attempting 130 kilos for his third and final bench today. Once again, I want to thank all the volunteers today. All right, Graham, the bar is ready and loaded for you. Okay, the bar is loaded for Graham. At 130 kilos. Oof. Come on, Graham. Come on, Graham. Look at that fight. That was good. Now, you'll notice some of these athletes get stuck in different areas. These are things you take away from a meet like this. Whether you meet, make the lift or not, you notice where your sticking point is and you work on it. That's why these meets are great. Okay. Up next for his third and final bench of the day is Devlin. All right, Devlin now you'll also notice that some of these athletes wear belts for the bench and some don't. It is completely preference. So, Devlin is attempting 132.5 kilos, which is over 292 pounds. Come on, Devlin, fight. These fights are amazing. That was a beautiful lift and a good lift for Devlin for his third and final bench of the day. Okay. Up next for his third and final bench of the day is Matt Lucas. And he is going to be attempting 150 kilos. Matt has also competed on the world stage stage at the All right, Matt. Raw ready and for you. Uh, Raw Federation's World. Now that was an experience. I did not compete there, but I did watch. Okay, so Matt's third and final lift at 150 kilos, over 330 pounds. Now, look at that steadiness. That is a beautiful lift. That is what you want to see, especially on your third lift. That is three white lights for a good lift for Matt Lucas. Okay. Last but definitely not least is Corey. Now, Corey is known in this gym for his bench. All right, Always impressed. And always the people that people stop to watch. Okay. Corey is going to be attempting 
170 kilos. That's right. 170 kilos, guys. That is over 374 pounds. That is heavier than. Right. Oh, no, that was. Ugh. You hate to see that on that, but that's okay. That's something you take away from this and learn from. Okay, we are finished with the bench press, so we will be coming back with the deadlift. So we need to clear off the bench from the platform, which I will say again that bench has been custom made by Squamish Barbell. It is impressive one of the perks of training at this gym and one of the reasons i love this gym i will be back shortly thank you for joining us and stay tuned for the deadlift the fun is just beginning
and I'm back. Now, if you are just joining us, this is the GOAT powerlifting meet, unsanctioned, but still amazing, at Squamish Barbell in beautiful Squamish, BC. And I'm not kidding. If you have never been here, it is time to show up. Okay, so we are just going to start the flight A for the deadlift, which is the women. Now, as mentioned before, a fair number of the athletes, it is their first meet. So they are rounding out the end of the day, and this is kind of when you come to an exciting point because you know you are almost done. Now, the deadlift, depending on who you are, can be quite exciting. And I have to throw a shout out to one of our athletes who is unable to attend today, and she, it would be, she's the one I would love to watch today as well. Another one I'd love to watch, let's say. Big shout out goes to Sue O'Connell. Unfortunately, she is not able right, to attend, but she will have to, uh, she'll show it up to us in the winter. Okay, so our first lifter to start off the deadlift is M at 52.5 kilos. That is over 115 pounds, guys. Now, you'll notice we have switched out the bar. This is an actual deadlift bar. And this is the fancy one. Now, M is doing the sumo stance. Oh, that was good. She will for the comment. It is three white lights. Her first opening deadlift is good. So there is only one command on the deadlift. And on the deadlift down and that's generally throughout all powerlifting uh, sure you, uh, events now down. you do have to maintain control on the way down so you cannot let go of the bar at the top you have to keep your hands on the bar all the way down okay up next is chelsea sullivan this is her first meet and she's opening at 90 kilos that is over 198 pounds we're going to see impressive weights today, guys. I am excited. Now, I will say the deadlift is not my favorite lift, but I'm always loving to watch it. I just am not. This, that is not my lift of choice for me, unfortunately. But it is exciting to be at the end of this as an athlete because now all you, all you have is one more lift or one more movement let's say okay chelsea she's opening at 90 kilos look at that that is a beautiful first lift yeah. three white lights yeah. and that is good lift yeah. for chelsea now i don't if you are not familiar with squamish this is my favorite time of year in squamish because it is just the end of the salmon run and we are starting in eagle season. So if you are bored and close enough, it is time to start coming up to Squamish to watch the eagles. Okay, we are up next with Rachel right, Mervish. She is going to be opening up her deadlift with 95 kilos. That is over 209 pounds. Yes, and she is actually that small in person. But she is strong. She is also doing a sumo stance that looks good now even good. though that is a good lift but even though she comes down hard her hands remain on the bar and she still maintains control so it is a good lift there was one incident by a wonderful young lifter at the age of 13 where she made an amazing lift and let go of the bar and unfortunately that is a no lift and I do friends the judge hate to no lift up next, right, we have Andrea ready, Young Meadows, and then she is going to be opening at 100 kilos. Now, one thing I should mention about Andrea is she is one of our first. Oh, that's a good lift. That is a good lift by Andrea Young Meadows. Good lift.
sorry, we had to make some adjustments. Now, one thing I should mention about Andrea is that she right, is actually an ER nurse. So she is one of our frontline heroes. Okay. Up next is Rem Renee. She is going to be opening at 102.5 kilos, which is over 225 pounds. Now, this is her first meet. And she is doing... That was beautiful. That was a good opening deadlift. Now, she is doing conventional. So there are two ways of deadlifting. There is sumo, which you'll notice you know, kind of looks like a, how a sumo wrestler starts. And then you have the conventional where the legs are relatively close together or shoulder width apart, depending. It varies from athlete to athlete. You'll notice the hand position also changes a little bit depending on the right, stance. Okay, we're up with Leanne for her first deadlift. And she is going to be attempting 105 pounds. That is, or sorry, kilos. That is over 231 pounds. Whew. Now that is a good opening lift. Yeah. That is a good opening lift. Three white lights for Leanne and a good lift. Okay. Up next. We have Kathy. Kathy is going to be opening at 110 kilos. Now, as I mentioned before, Kathy is a seasoned powerlifter and has competed many, many times. But that doesn't All take right, away the stress and anxiety that comes along with this right mental sport. Okay. Kathy is also going to be doing conventional stance. That looks crisp. That is three white lights and a good opening lift for Kathy on the deadlift. Okay, up next we have Veronica. Now, once again, I want to remind you that a lot of these lifters, this is their first powerlifting meet. And I am really impressed with what we're seeing. Okay. So... Veronica is attempting also 110 kilos, which is over 242 pounds. That looks beautiful. That is three white lights and a good lift for Veronica. This is, we're starting off really good on those deadlifts. Okay, right. up next is Jade Quilty. All right, Jade. Jade is, whew, here we go. Attempting 125 kilos for her opener, which is 275 pounds. Now, Jade is also a frontline hero. She is a Vancouver firefighter. Oh, look at that. That is beautiful. That is a good lift. Three white lights for Jade. We do have a lot of frontline heroes at this gym, and not all of them are competing, but some of these people, you know, I've heard from a couple of them that this is how they relieve stress, whether it's working out, running, powerlifting. I mean, the stuff that these guys go through. Okay, up next, we have Rachel Hicks. Her opening deadlift is going to be 130 right, pounds. Or, wow, no, that is definitely not right. 130 kilos. And that is 286 pounds. Now, Rachel is also doing the sumo stance. Now, it really depends on what is better for you personally. That is a good lift by Rachel. That is three white lights. That is how you want to open this. Okay. Now, we have another addition. Now, Anik is only doing the bench today. Uh, ooh, only doing the deadlift today. Now, she's opening at 132. Now, this is Anik's first 
powerlifting meet, if I'm correct. 32.5 kilos, which is over 292 pounds. That is impressive. That was beautiful. That is a good lift. Whew. This is getting exciting. Okay. Now we are coming up to the second round of deadlifts for flight A of the women. Or, well, no, flight A is the women of flight A. And we are starting off a game with M. Now, if you are just joining us, this is the deadlift, which is the final lift of the day. But we are just starting the second attempt for flight A, and we still have flight B as well. So hang on, because it's only going to get more impressive. So M is going to be attempting. So M is going to be attempting 60 kilos, which is over 132 pounds. Once again, this is M's first powerlifting meet. There she is. There you go. That looked good. That is a good lift for M. Three white lights. Now, you'll notice there's this red contraption that the... Uh, loaders, the plate loaders keep utilizing that. Well, you can buy them, but it is actually another contraption that was custom made for Squamish Barbell by Squamish Barbell. And that allows them to easily get the larger plates on and off the bar. Because time is kind of about the essence here. You don't want to right, fiddle Chelsea, too much. Okay, so we are up with Chelsea, right her second deadlift of the day at 95 kilos, which is over 209 pounds. Whew, here we go. Nice. Yeah. That is beautiful. That is a good lift good of three there. white lights. Now, another thing you'll notice is the hands on the bar. Some people use an overhand grip, which was what Chelsea just did. And you'll notice that some of the other ones do a, a switch grip or a re Yeah, I think I'm going to make a mistake. I'm pretty sure it's a reverse grip. No, that is not right either. It's a... All right, so Bar is ready and loaded for you. You know, I'm going to have to check on that because I cannot remember. Obviously, the caffeine has kicked in too much. Okay, so we're up with Rachel for her second deadlift of the day at 100 kilos, which is over 220 pounds. Oh, unfortunately, she couldn't get off that, that no off the ground. So that is a no lift. Now, this is where you got to love the coaching staff at Squamish Barbell. So they take the time to check in with your athlete after something like that. Or even if you make a good lift and make sure that your next attempt is going to be successful. Because that's really the name of the game here. You really want all the athletes to be successful. Okay, up next, we have Andrea Young Meadows. This is her second deadlift of the day, and it's going to be 107, 107.5 kilos, which is just shy of 237 pounds. Deadlift is always when the big numbers come in, which is, I think, why it becomes so exciting. All right, Bar is ready and loaded for you, Nambia. Ready and you're on deck, followed by Leanne. Okay. Now, she, you'll notice her grip is also... Oh, that was beautiful. That was a beautiful lift. Good job. Oh, this is what I love to see. That's a good lift for Andrea. Okay. We are running through this. This is great. Up next is Renee for her second lift. She's also going to be All doing right, 107.5 kilos, which is over 236 pounds. Now, Renee is doing the conventional stance. I 
Oh, that looks good. Look at that drive. That is a good lift. Three white lights for Renee's second deadlift of the day. Woo. Okay. Once again, if you are just joining us, we are in flight A of the GOAT powerlifting competition at Squamish Barbell in glorious Squamish, BC. And I actually don't think it's even raining today. We are up right, next with Leanne at 110 kilos, which is over 240 pounds. Oh, that looks good. That is a good lift for Leanne. Good lift. And a big shout out to our sponsor, Nestor's Food Market in Squamish, BC. They definitely provided me with some nice snacks. Maybe to help. Okay. Sorry. And I got distracted. We are up next with Kathy for her second deadlift at 117.5 kilos, which is over 250 pounds. All right, Kathy Bar is ready to go to three. You want to come on deck? Call my team. Kathy also is doing the conventional stance with a switch grip. Look at that. That is a beautiful deadlift. That is a good lift for Kathy Brennan. Three white lights. Now you'll you'll notice that it is in kilos, and majority of the powerlifting meet in, or the, sorry, I should say the federations in Canada do use kilos. A lot of us train with pounds though, so it does get a little confusing, but we power through, pun intended. Okay, up next is Veronica. Actually, as you'll notice, what they're doing is because to hold the grip and create that stickiness in the bar, the athletes do chalk their hands. So the chalk does transfer onto the bars, but it does make it difficult sometimes for different athletes. So we do try to clean them between right, certain lifters. Okay, Veronica, Veronica is up next at 117.5 kilos, which is over 259 pounds. Once again, this is her first powerlifting meet. Love this. Oh, that looks crisp. Almost too easy. That is a good lift by yeah. Veronica. Whew. I do have to give a shout out to the athletes who aren't able to come here that do train at CrossFit. Or sorry, Squamish Barbell. I need to shake my head a little bit right now. Um, unfortunately, we are missing some of our athletes on the on the powerlifting side and hopefully they will be able to uh, attend our next powerlifting meet whenever that is All right, Jade okay is Jade Quilty is up for her second deadlift at 135 pounds that is over 270 97 pounds she is just shy of 300 on this oh, looks too easy that was beautiful, Jade. Good That's a good lift. There is something about watching a powerlifting meet and watching the successes. Okay. Up next, we have Rachel Hicks. At 137.5 kilos. That is over 303 pounds. And I will say that 300 pound deadlift was my nemesis for many years and still kind of haunts me. I have, well, I have got it once, but I'm always impressed to watch these athletes get over 300 pounds on the deadlift. That is a beautiful sumo deadlift. And a good lift for good Rachel Hicks' second deadlift of the day. 
Woo. Okay. Coming up for her second deadlift is a Nick. She's only doing the pull, which is the deadlift. But we are happy she is here. Okay, she is attempting 140 kilos, which is over 308 pounds. Oh, look at that precision. That was a beautiful lift by Nick for her second deadlift of the day. Now, if you want more information on powerlifting, you can Google it. You can talk to a powerlifter at Spanish Bulldog. You can watch YouTube videos. It is impressive what these people can do out there. Okay, we are up with our third round of power. Oh, of deadlifts. Oh, third round of powerlifters as well. We are starting the third with M at 65 right, kilos. That is over 143 pounds. And this is, again, this is M's first powerlifting meet. I do appreciate her shirt as well today. Um. Oh, that looks good. I almost want to say too easy. Good that was a good lift and a good way to end the meet for M. Okay. Oh, we're getting down to it now. Okay. Up next is Chelsea. This is her first meet. And she's going to be attempting 100 kilos, which is over 220 pounds. Thank. I want to hear right, come out this morning to Chelsea. help with this meet. Loading bars, doing numbers, helping with judging, helping coach. Okay. Chelsea's up for her third and final deadlift of the day. She's got the overhand grip and the conventional stance. Oh, that's yeah. good. Lockout. That's a good lockout. And a beautiful deadlift. Good job, Chelsea. Congratulations on finishing your first meet. And we even get a PR. Congratulations. Okay. Up next right, is Rachel, Rachel Mervis. At also 100 kilos, which is over 220 pounds. Once again, I'm saying over because I'm not including decimals. Come on, Rachel. Jake, 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 Jake. Oh, look at that. Hold for the lockout and the command. Good job. It is a good lift for her third and final deadlift. Now, once again, you there is a command in this deadlift. You have to wait for the judge, who is Andrew Nori, to give you the down command. Now, there are some other things. In deadlifting, in powerlifting, unlike some other sports that involve deadlifting, you can't hitch, so you need to have a continuous movement. Have a continuous movement. So far, they're all being crisp and clean. So, okay, Andrea Young Meadows with her third and final deadlift of the meet at 112.5 kilos, which is over 248 pounds. Oh, look at that. I think that was too easy. That was a beautiful lift by Andrea Meadow. And a PR! Yes! Oh, this is a good way to end for her. Okay, guys. We are rounding it out, and it is getting even more and more exciting as we go. Oh, I think I've done All something. Right, Let me just... There we go. Okay, guys. Here is Renee for her third and final deadlift of the day. And this is also Renee's first meet. I'm repeating this a lot because this means a lot to these lifters. It's always scary the first time. She is attempting. Whoa, she got it. 
over 112.5 kilos. That is over four. Nope. And a PR? That's over 248 pounds. Woo, these girls, women, ladies, whatever you want to say. Okay. This is Leanne's third and final deadlift of her first powerlifting meet. And she's going to be attempting 100, no, 115 pounds, kilos. I need to give my head a shake. 115 kilos, which is over 250 three pounds now take into consideration how the body weight of these women that is a big deal some of these it's massive numbers okay look at this now oh that looks come on see and that steady drive up that was beautiful that is a good lift that is awesome great way to end your first powerlifting meet oh love it okay up next is kathy a staple for most powerlifting meets at CrossFit or Squamish Barrel. I need to stop saying that. She is going to be attempting 125 kilos, which is over 275 pounds. Whew. Okay, the numbers are just coming. All right, Kathy Barrett, ready and loaded for you. Monica, you're on deck all by Dave. It is always impressive to watch Kathy. Look at that steady movement up. Oh, and that fight. That is a good lift. I hope that she, oof, that is a good lift. That's impressive. You can see she saw a little bit of stars on that one. That just shows the effort that these women are putting into these. Okay. Up next, we have Veronica. This is going to be impressive. She's also going to be attempting over 275 pounds. Once again, also her first powerlifting meet. These athletes, wow, it is impressive what is going on today. Okay. Just look at that. Oh, so smooth. I think she even in there that is a good lift for veronica great way to end the meet and i feel the bell we got a pr congratulations oh. up next is jade quilty she is going to be attempting 145 kilos that is over 319 pounds wow 145 kilos all right, Jake Barr is ready and loaded for you. Mix your deck, followed by Annette. Once again, Nate is not only a coach here, but she's a first line, a front line worker. Oh, look at that. That is a beautiful deadlift. That is what you love to see. That is a good third lift, Jade. Oh, that is beautiful. That is a good way to end the day for you. Okay. Up next for her third and final deadlift of the day. And actually her okay, final lift of the day is a nick. Oh, no. I think we might have some issues here because I'm a little... Hold on. We're going to solve this. All right, ready loaded for you. She is going to be... Sorry, there's some changes. She is lifting 147.5 kilos. Which is over 325 pounds. Come on, Hicks. Fight, fight, fight. Oh, that is a hard one. You get it off the ground, but you can't get it any farther. That is just a... Oh, but she has done amazing today. Good job, Hicks. Okay. We are on to our final deadlifter of the day. A Nick at 147.5 kilos. Once again, that is over 325 pounds. Now, you also do need to put in perspective the weight of these athletes. That is how it is measured. So it is your the weight of your body versus the weight you lift. 
I'm not going to mask. I'm not going to explain that any further. Watch this. Look at that settle in and that drive. Oh, that was easy. That was a good lift for a Nick. And a PR. There is, oh, that's a good way to end the flight A for the women. Okay. We're moving on to the men shortly. But I do need to shout big. Whew, need to do a big shout out to all the women and congratulate them on for an awesome powerlifting meet. Whether it's your first or one of many, I am impressed. That this spurns to continue in the powerlifting world, even if it's not all the. Okay, we are coming up to the men. So this is again the final lift of the day is the deadlift often it's when the big numbers come so it is quite exciting right, okay so to so start flight b is which is the men is alex his first attempt is going to be 110 kilos which is over 242 pounds this is alex's first meet so you you know after this, he's going to feel amazing. And probably pretty hungry. Oh, that went smooth. That is a good lift good by man. Alex. Great way to open the deadlift. Okay. Now, if you are just joining us, this is the deadlift for flight B of the GOAT at Squamish Barbell. In it. Fantastic. Squamish PC. And I'm not kidding. If you've never been here, it is time to make an effort to come. We're not known for the dry weather. But it is beautiful when it rains. Okay. We have Jeff with his right, first deadlift of the day at 125 kilos. That is over 275 pounds to open. Now this is, if I'm correct, this is Jeff's first powerlifting meet. Oh, that was beautiful. That is a strong opening lift. Good job, Jeff. Opening lift. Good job, Jeff. Okay, up next is Darren. He's also going to be opening 145 kilos, which is over 319 pounds. He will be also sumo deadlifting. Oh, that was crisp. And a good deadlift. Good now, what the judges are looking for at the top is that it's full lockout. It does make it easier when you're wearing a singlet or leggings, but Andrew Norrie is an impressive right, judge. Kevin so Barry, he can do it either way. Okay, so leg. up next is Kevin for his opening deadlift at 145 as well. Kilos. That is over. 319 pounds. Oh, too easy. Good job, Kevin. That is a good left. But a great way to open your deadlift. Okay, we're coming up to Parker for his opening deadlift at 167.5 kilos. That is over 300 and 69 pounds. Once again, this is Parker's first powerlifting meet. All right, Parker, bar is ready and loaded for you. Deadlift, you're on deck, followed by Rudy. Okay, he's also going to be sumo deadlifting. It is definitely a mix or they're here. Oh, that is a good lift for 
It is always good to start with a good lift on our first opener. Any lift. Okay. Up next, we have Devlin. He is going to be opening his deadlift at 172.5 pounds. That is over 380 pounds. Devlin is choosing the overhand grip with a sumo stance. And it was beautiful. That is a good lift for Devin, Devlin to open his deadlift. Okay. We are coming up. Sorry, we are coming up. We are coming up to Rudy. Don't know what I've done there. Hopefully you guys can hear me okay. We are coming up to, or maybe you don't, and you've muted me by this point. It's okay. You're coming up to Rudy at 185 kilos open. His deadlift. That is over 407 pounds. All right, Rudy. Bar is ready and loaded for you. Jack, you're on deck. Oh, by Graham. Now, once again, this is the last lifts of the day and you do get three attempts oh that was good that was very clean that is a good lift for Rudy to open his deadlift okay up next we have the one and only Zach Zach will be opening up at 210 kilos that is over 462 pounds to open impressive all right Zach Bar is ready and loaded for you Dan. okay Zach once again Zach is a coach at Squamish Barbell which we are thankful for oh look at that that is a beautiful deadlift that is three white lights for a good opening lift for Zach. Now we have the infamous, infamous Minty. You will be impressed by his attire and his shirt. I will comment. It does say Jesse's boys. He is opening at 210. I am really impressed with the shirt. That is over 462 pounds. There we go. Look at that drive. Whew. That is a good lift. Good lift. Once again, if you do not know, Jesse is the head coach and one of the owners at Squamish Barbell. He is also a coach to the world's fittest man, Justin Medeiros. One of the coaching team. To Justin Winters. Up next, we have Corey opening his whoo, his deadlift of the day at two hundred and thirty-two point five kilos. That is over five hundred and twelve pounds. Here we go. Let's show some love for Corey on this one. Oh, like butter. That is a good opening lift for Corey. Okay. I want to say last but not least, and I'm pretty sure I'm right. Matt Lucas is going to round out the first or opening deadlifts for flight B. Ooh, 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 and he is opening at 206 kilos or 260 kilos, I should say. And that is over 573 pounds. That is opening at over 573 pounds. All 
sorry, Matt. Bar is ready and loaded for you. Alex on deck, followed by Jack. Okay, here goes Matt. Now, you'll notice that Jesse is behind Matt. That is a how you spot on a deadlift. It's just so if they fall backwards that someone catches them and don't get it. Oh, that was like butter. Whoa. Easy peasy for Matt Lucas to open. Now you can see why people love to watch the deadlift and probably why it's at the end. Oh, we're down to second deadlifts. I think to watch the deadlift and probably why it's at the end. Oh, we're down to second lifts of the day for Fiki. So these are, we're coming up to the last, last list. You do get three a shift, and we're into the seconds for the deadlift. Yeah, once again, I want to give a shout out to all the volunteers. You will see some of them loading the bar. Um, that includes James, Junior, Matt, Andrew. Now we have some behind the scenes. That includes Jordy, Angela, Adam, Ellen. And of course, some of the coaching staff has come in today to help some to compete, which includes Jesse, Jeff, Parkey, and uh, Rory. Anyways, we're opening up the second lift. With Alex with 120 kilos, which we're looking at over 264 pounds. Come on. That's a beautiful lift. Nice job, Alex. That is a good lift with three white lights. Now, once again, I want to throw out a big thank you to Nestor's Market up in Squamish, BC for sponsoring this event. They are huge supporters of Squamish Barbell. And if you're in the area, they really do have some good options for ice cream, including Coconut Bliss. Coconut Bliss is not a but that would be amazing if they were. Okay, we are going to move on. And he's going to attempt... 132.5 kilos for a second attempt on the deadlift. That is over 292 pounds. Oh, smooth. That looks good. That is a good lift for Jeff for a second deadlift. Once again, if you're not too familiar with the powerlifting, that they or the powerlifting, sorry, um, this is the final lift, which is the deadlift. All right, Darren, Barry, ready. And often by this point, you, you're either tired or you're completely relaxed. But it is always impressive either way. Okay, Darren is attempting 152.5 kilos, and that went like. <laughs> Whew, that was good. That is over 336 pounds. And a PR on a second lift. See, this is why the deadlift is always impressive. Okay. Now we're coming up to Kevin. And as mentioned before, Kevin has competed on the world stage for the Raw Federation. He is the only powerlifter wearing a singlet, which I want to say is very impressive because given the option, I would not. And he is going to be attempting 155 kilos for right, his Kevin second Barber deadlift. You, that is over 341 pounds. Yeah, Kevin, oh, good job, easy. Man. That's what you like to see. That is a good lift for Kevin. Now you also notice that the footwear changes for the deadlift. Some people wear lifters, which have a little bit of a heel for the squat. But once you move into the deadlift, you do want to wear as flat as possible shoes. So chucks, Converse are often 
a common uh, shoe. There are also a few other options out there, but you do want as flat as possible. Okay, we are up next with Parker woo, at 175 woo, kilos for his second attempt, which is over 385 pounds. Oh, that was easy. Here we go. That is a good lift for Parker for his second attempt at the deadlift. Okay. We are moving on to our... Oh, no, we are actually moving on to Devlin for his second deadlift. And I quickly want to throw out a big thank you to Rebecca, who's been behind the scenes as well doing the marketing. Not All marketing. Right, Devlin, media. Yeah, the you. coffee. Yeah, anymore. Okay. Devlin is going to be attempting 182.5 kilos. That's over 402 pounds. Once again, Jesse has set up behind him just yeah. to make sure that if he does get a little faint afterwards... Yeah. He's okay. That is a good lift by Devlin for his second deadlift of the day. Okay. We are moving on to Rudy's second attempt for the deadlift at 192.5 kilos. Uh, is ready and loaded for you. And you're on deck all like that. Sorry, that is over 424 pounds. Once again, Jesse has set up behind him as a spotter just to make sure and ensure the safety of the lifter. Uh, that's it's going up beautiful. That was a good lift. Three white lights and a PR on a second deadlift. Oh. It's always a good day when that starts happening. I hope you guys are enjoying the day. We are kind. We are coming to the end. We have, we have, a few more lifters in the second round, and then we're or the second attempts, and then we'll be heading into the third and final All attempts. Right, now, an That's outfit right, favorite of mine is Graham Minty, who is going to be attempting two hundred and seventeen kilo, two hundred seventeen point five kilos. Sorry, that's over four hundred and seventy nine. <gasps> oh. 497 pounds. But I mean, even though we missed that, his shirt still looks good. I'm sure Jesse appreciates it. Okay, up next for his second attempt is Zach at 220 kilos. That is over 485 pounds. Once again, we are very fortunate at Squamish Barbell to have Zach as one of our coaches. We have an amazing coaching staff. If you don't currently attend this gym, the coaching staff is impressive. Now Zach is doing a sumo stance with overhand grip, which is impressive. Oh, that was clean and crisp. Three white lights for a good lift on a second attempt. Okay. Now, if I'm correct, we are down to our last two lifters for the second attempt. Up next is Corey, who's going to be attempting 240 kilos. That is over 529 pounds. Whew, here we go. This is when I get excited. All right, Corey, is ready there is. Ready for you, Matt. You're on deck and Here we go. Now you see that Corey sports the Nike Jordans. Oh, come on, Corey. Oh, no. That's okay. That is a no lift, unfortunately, for Corey for a second attempt. He does have a third attempt, go, which is always nice, but we will see what he decides to go with. Okay, the last lifter for the second attempts is Matt Lucas at 280 
kilos. That is over 617 pounds. Take that into consideration. Now, Matt is sporting the classic powerlifting shoes of the Reeboks, which if you can find nowadays is a tough thing. Okay, so for the last round or the second attempt is Matt Lucas at over 280 kilos, which is over 617 pounds. He's using the sumo stance and the overhead grip. Oh, gosh, he makes that look good. That was a good lift by Matt. Now, the other thing to note with that deadlift bar is the knurling is quite extreme might not be the word, but it is harsh, but that's what you want. You don't want to lose grip on a deadlift. So you'll notice that some of their hands when they let go of the bar, it's a little touchy. Anyways, we are now coming into our third lifts and final attempts for the deadlift. Okay. Up first is Alex. He is going to be attempting 127.5 kilos. That is over 281 pounds. Once again, first competition. It is awesome. Come on, Alex. Come on, Alex. Oh, that is beautiful. That is the way to end your first powerlifting meet. And a PR. You can't get much better than that. Congratulations, Alex. Okay. Up next, we have Jeff for his third and final attempt at the deadlift. He's going to be attempting 140 kilos. That is over 308 pounds. Okay. Oh, that was easy. That was great. That was a good lift for Jeff and a good way to end his first power lift meet. And a PR. And a PR, guys. Okay. This is we're this is a good this is a good way to go. Okay. For his third and final deadlift of the meet and i'm pretty sure his first meet uh darren is going to be attempting 160 kilos that is over 352 pounds all right Darren bar is ready and loaded for you kevin it's time, time to get jazzed come on oh that's good that's good fight it all the way to the top Good lockout. Oh, that is a good lift and a good way to end for Darren. Congratulations, Darren. On a PR. Congratulations, Darren, on an awesome meet. Okay. Up next is Kevin. Kevin is going to be attempting 165 kilos for his third and final deadlift of the meet. And is really his final lift. That is over 363 pounds. All right, bar is ready and loaded. Okay. Parker, you're on deck followed by Devlin. Look at, oh, too easy. That is a good lift for Kevin. Great way to end the meet for him. It's good to note that a lot of these lifters, due to COVID, haven't been able to compete since, I want to say the last meet might have, from many of them, might have been 2000, 2019. So that is a while. Often these lifters do compete multiple times a year. Okay, 
for his last deadlift and lift of the meet is Parker at 182.5 kilos. That is over 402 pounds. Once again, this is his first meet. And it has been impressive so far. Look at that. Oh, glorious. What a good way to end. What a good way to end your first meet. Anna PR, you love to hear that bell ring. Congratulations, Parker. Coming up to his third and final deadlift of the day is Devlin. He is going to be attempting 192.5 kilos. That is 424 pounds. Well, over, because there's a bunch of decimals after that, a bunch of numbers. Okay, Devlin. Come on, Devlin. Look at that fight. Look at that fight. Oh. That was beautiful. That is a good lift for Devlin. Great way to end the meet. Okay, here we go. Up next is Rudy. Rudy is going to be attempting 200 kilos for his third and final. Deadlift of the day. That is over 440 pounds. Over 440. Now you'll also notice that the clips of collars are also different. I'd like to explain them, but I'm not really good at that either. Next time I'll, I'll have more notes on those. Anyways. Oh. Uh, oh. That was close. He did get it off the ground, which is impressive. Unfortunately, that is a no left, but still, Rudy had a great meet today. Okay. Up next, for his third and final deadlift of the day is Zach. Zach is going to be attempting 230 kilos. That is over 507 pounds. Now, going back to the footwear... All right, Zach, Zach is sporting the high top nobles, which have actually become quite the popular foot attire for powerlifters. I have to say they're quite nice. That's a good setup. Oh, look at that. That is beautiful. That is a beautiful, beautiful deadlift. Congratulations, Zach, on a good lift. Oh, that's what you like to see. Okay. Once again, we are coming up to our last. Thank you all for joining us today. I do appreciate the support. Hopefully soon we'll be able to do this in person again. But then you want to hear my beautiful voice for the last three and a half hours. Okay, up next, Corey is 240 pounds, or sorry, 240 kilos, 200, sorry, 529 pounds. Once again, over 529 pounds. I want to see this. For, oh, easy. Come on, Corey. Come on. Oh, that is a hard one. That is a hard one to take. He, oh, that was a good fight. But now that's the thing. Corey can take away from this and see where the sticking point is and work on those areas. <laughs> Congratulations. Anyways, to Corey, he's had a great meet so far. Or I guess, I mean. Okay. Our last and final lifter of the day. So I should hear some cheers or some thumbs up or anything. Is Matt Lucas. He is going to be attempting 292.5 kilos, which is over 644 pounds. Oh, this is a great way to end this. 
Okay, guys. Push all the support you can to Matt. Oh, no. There's been a change. He is attempting over 293 kilos, which is over oh, 645 pounds. You can see the bend in that bar. It is impressive. Now, that is actually a powerlifting more. No, sorry. Let me rephrase that. That is a deadlift bar. It has different give than other barbells. Now, that is only to be used for deadlifting. And if you do attend Squamish Barbell, you understand the strictness of using the proper bars for the proper lifts. Okay, guys. The bar is ready for Matt. Let's get him going. Come on. Let's hear it. Come on, Matt. Come on. Let's go. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, that was a good fight. That was a good fight. Oh, that was a great meet, guys. I really appreciate you all checking in and uh, <laughs> and watching the live feed for the goat put on by Squamish Barbell and beautiful Squamish BC. Thank you to all the volunteers. Thank you to Nestor's Market for sponsoring us. Huge thank you to Jesse Pafana for putting on this amazing meet. I do want to give a shout out to Andrew Nori for judging. Thank you to, again, all the volunteers, the loaders. Huge. Congratulations to all the athletes. You guys did amazing. Hope you guys, if you're new to it, continue on. Great day all in all. I, mostly I hope that everyone learned and has some direction, but then much much like how precision these lifts are, right? Squat bench dead. They're they're you know they're more than they appear. They're as challenging in my opinion as the Olympic lifts, just in a different way. When they don't have a speed, they make up more in low. So you can see the athletes who are um, more seasoned. That skill just and everything looks just a little tighter, a little more precise. But what we learned about like building a plan, building out that paperwork, the value of, of a structured plan, that's applicable to any lift, right? Anytime you're maxing, that stuff's gonna pay off, right? The day overall, like fueling yourself, keeping the energy high. Sometimes you get to the deadlift at a meet and you see people just start to nose down, they fatigue, you're like, oh fuck. Because the dead's a big one, right? That's that's the one that puts those big totals together. Um, great work, all in all. Thanks, all ever. You know, it's it is like loading us thousands of pounds of weight to yeah. nonstop for like three and a half hours, right? Thank so, you guys. Those, 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 those. Yeah, huge thank you to the loaders. They are going to be tired tomorrow as well. Once again. I've been your host, Sammy Cox. Thank you to Nori for judging. Thank you to Adam Cheel for working with computers. Jordy, Ellen, Angela for doing all this work. That's it. All in, all done. For CrossFitters, we've got two months now to the football total at the end of the year. So think about what you learned and let's put that to like practice over the next two months, get it wired up so we can add a little bit to those numbers. Uh, power lifters, now we're into the winter season, right? So this is the beginning of winter training uh, as we move into that over this next bunch of months. So probably four months, five months from the sort of next something, either here or somewhere. So we've got that opportunity to show progress. Uh, hopefully everyone got that feeling of like, you know, being excited for other people, lifting and what they're accomplishing, but it's, it's a different kind of competition, right? Where it just feels more like you're trying to uh, show what you've got, show your skill set, and show improvement from the last time, right? So hopefully you can appreciate that. It's less competitive against others and more competitive for yourself on the platform. Um, Cherry, just kind of say a few yeah. To you get to yeah. yeah, I agree. Huge thanks to Jesse Pifano for putting on amazing competition. 
definitely never cuts corners. successful athlete on the platform, uh, there's a successful coach somewhere there, right? So that, that part's great, and it's really fun to see people progress, and it's good for, you know, all the coaches here to sort of watch and say, oh, that person's doing this or a little bit, and then we can help apply that for you uh, inside, like, regular training, right? Yeah. Cheers, you guys. Yeah, once again, huge thank you to everybody for showing up, and huge congratulations to all the athletes massive massive thank you to jesse for putting on an awesome competition thank you for watching the goat powerlifting meet at squamish barbell i was your host sammy cox i appreciate you guys all for listening in and uh yeah i really hope to be able to do this again on the next meet and hopefully it's sooner than later i don't know how to end this so because i am not computer savvy but i will ask someone to help me out but once again thank you so much hope you guys all enjoyed it saw some awesome athletes this has been an awesome day and uh yeah once again thank you <laughs>